morning. G'day, mate. How G'day. Nice what a great day it is. Great day, yeah. Well, we've got the sunshine, you've got the clouds, you've got everything. Yep, see if we can get some lobster for you. Beautiful. I love lobster. Hey, welcome aboard. Thank you very much. Hi. So this is beautiful, isn't it? This is... You call this work, do you? Well, semi-retirement for me. <laughs> You get to drive around in a beautiful boat, get some crayfish in this gorgeous weather, and you know exactly where all the good crayfish are, don't you? I know a few good spots. Uh, I don't know them all, that's for sure. OK, all right. You didn't go out there before this morning and put some crayfish in no, no, before we no. did you? No, no. OK. Well, hopefully today, if we catch a nice lobster, I'll be down the back of the boat and I'll do the cooking this time, and you can sit down and relax. OK, that sounds good. Sounds good. So can I drive the boat? Uh, no, Adrian. Sorry. You sure? Yes. Okay, Jono, what are we going to do now? Now, we've got a couple of rock lobster pots here and we're going to try to catch ourselves some Western rock lobster. What you'll do, you'll grab this grapple yep. and once we come along the floats here, throw that out towards the floats, pull the floats in and then I'll set it up in the winch and then you can pull your lobster in. Off we go. You tell me when to throw it? Yep, throw towards that rope. Well done. All righty, pass it to me and I'll set it up on the winch for you. You reckon I'll be a professional fisherman now? I reckon we can get you a job. Uh -huh. Now, step over here. Yep. And pull on that. Okay. There we go. Here comes the lobster pot. Here we come. Oh, we that. Oh, pull her in. Oh, we right. got him. Well, okay, now look let's that. get him on board the boat. All right. There we go. There we go. Oh, How's look that? at that. Now, one thing we've got to check is for its size. Yep. How lucky am I? The guys from Mandra Cruises have let me take over their boat. Now, normally this boat is set up for a five-star experience. They catch the crayfish, bring it on board, heaps of seafood, prawns, you name it, all on board here with white tablecloths. It is a five-star experience. Now, I've taken over and I'm going to cook crayfish Richo style. They're going to sit down and relax and I'm going to make the best garlic crayfish cooked on the barbecue here. They're going to love it. Now, it starts with this Western Rock Lobster. Some salt on there, just sprinkle it around because Western Rock Lobster loves salt just as much as meat does. And also some pepper. A good twist of pepper on there and that'll make it taste even better. And, of course, to get it all going, I've got some extra virgin olive oil. A little drizzle of this and that'll help to transfer the heat from the barbecue onto this meat. It is real delicious. I can't wait for this. I'm almost foaming at the mouth. I've got my barbecue on a really high heat and I just grab the rock lobster like this and pop it flesh side down straight onto the barbecue. So I pop it on the grill just like that so it sears. Hear that noise, that sizzle? That's what you want to hear. This won't take long at all. So what I want to do is sear the outside like that and then when I turn it over, which I will in a couple of minutes, I want to put my garlic butter in there. I've got some butter here and some parsley that's chopped and of course my garlic is peeled already. Now, if you want to, you can crush the garlic with a little bit of salt on a chopping board, but I find a microplane does it really, really well. Just grate it like that. A little tap and it comes off. Some salt in there and, of course, the twist of pepper to make it even tastier. And then, of course, with a spoon, you grab some of that butter and push it into the parsley, the garlic, the salt and pepper, and just mash it around like that. Can't wait for this one. As you can see, they're nice and golden. Turn them over like that, beautiful and crisp. That's what I want, barbecued lobster. And look at that, the last one there. Now, the garlic butter, I've just got about a tablespoon of that into the cavity right there. And as it cooks, it melts down into that beautiful lobster flesh and makes it even more delicious. In it goes like that. Now, that's going to cook for a couple of minutes. And I'll turn that down nice and low. I want this to happen really slowly. That's going to give me a couple of minutes to clean this down and I'll make my Wombok Oriental Salad. Wombok, lime, kippy mayonnaise, coriander, all the nice things and some chilli in there. That'll go beautifully with this lobster. This is going to be delicious and these guys are foaming at the mouth. They're going to love this.
Now my salad is just about made. I just need to add some dressing to it, some Kewpie mayonnaise. Now in here I've got Wombok. I love using Wombok. It's a cabbage that's really nice and sweet and soft. Got plenty of chilli in here because I like it nice and hot. Some ginger, some spring onions, some coriander. Mix it all around so that Kewpie mayonnaise is combined. Now behind me are the Mandra canals and that looks like a great place to live. Beautiful houses and the thing I love about it is you can drive your boat right up to your house, park it and then go inside. And the weather here is beautiful all year round. Now I've got my black sesame seeds in there, some roasted garlic and some deep fried shallots to give it a nice crunch. And you know what? I can smell my lobster is ready. It smells fantastic. I'll just pop this down here out of the way and lift the lid on that. Oh my goodness, look at it. The butter's melted into it. I'll just grab this one here and pop it onto my plate there like that. And some of the coleslaw. Pull that up there and put a lemon on there. That looks great, but it's not for me, it's for Jono. Okay, I'll pop this over here. Jono, come over here. I've got to see what the experts think, because Jono catches crayfish every single day, but you don't cook it. You've got someone like me to cook for it. Now, normally it's five star here. I want to know if this is five star enough for me to come on board and be your uh, resident chef. What do you think of that, Jono? Mm. Fresh crayfish straight out of the water, cooked with garlic butter. Not too bad, mate. Not too bad? Not too bad, yeah, mean? I think that's pretty good. That's, I like that. Now, do you reckon I can drive the boat now? No. Really? No. Just a little bit? Not at all. Just around the block? No. I bet I'll just stick to cooking crayfish then.